Hello friends, welcome to Geomatic channel. Today in this video we will discuss about how to use take layout in our PTQML application and how to use its basic property and how to implement this take layout in our application. And so let's start. So let's first of all import the PTQIC layout. Also import the QTQIC control. Okay, now let's create the take layout. So let's set the ID first. So my take layout. Now let's create the rectangle control to display in our take layout. So now let's set the first of all ID my rect one. Now let's set the width and height property. Here we let's fill the fill the width and fill the height of our layout. So layout dot fill width is also true. Let's fill the our stake layout in our in our in the application anchor dot fill parent. Now let's create the uh, label also in our rectangle to display a specific text. So now let's set the uh, text. This is first page. Okay. Now let's also display the or send the anchor. Display the text in our center of our rectangle. Also set the some basic font property like font size. Let's set the 20. Also you can set the color. So set let's uh, white color. Let's set the rectangle color also. So let's set the red color of our first rectangle. Okay, now let's simply copy this all code and paste for the rectangle 2 and rectangle 3. Okay, so this is the second page and this is the third page. Okay, so let's change the uh, color here. So let's set the uh, green color, then use the uh, blue color for third page. Okay, now let's run the application and check it. So here let's set the default current index. So current index is uh, 2. So now let's run the application and check it. So by default uh, third page is, is will be displayed. You can see this is the third page. Okay, also you can change the uh, index also. Now let's set 1 and check it. So you can see. Okay, now let's also create the button also to display or uh, navigate the uh, row. Let's create the uh, row layout. Let's set the uh, spacing first. Also set the uh, anchor to display our button control in the uh, bottom of the uh, page. So anchor dot bottom. parent dot bottom okay now let's also display this row layout in our center of the our application in bottom center okay so horizontal center is parent dot horizontal center okay now let's create the buttons control okay now let's set the id first my button one now let's create the on click event so when we cl click on the button we will navigate the uh, stake layout page of first page okay so set the uh, current index equal to zero let's set the uh, some text here first now let's copy this wall code and create two more buttons button 2 and button 3 and change the index here ok now let's uh, change the text here now let's run the application and check it 
so you can see the buttons are here so this is the first page when I click on second it will navigate me on to second page of the our stack layout okay and this is the third first third and first second third okay respectively you can see the how we use the stack layout in our qtqml application and here we we set the fill property to set the our stack layout in our, our app parent control and here we also set the fill width and fill height property to fit our rectangle control in our stack layout page okay so this is the stack layout uh, control in our uh, qtqml application and please drop your comment if you have any questions about stake layout and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you